Yes, people, welcome back to my channel and Arsenal 4, Crystal Palace 1. You guys know I'm not happy seeing Arsenal winning, but fair play, credit, good performance so far by the Gurners, and looks like it's going to be the year. But let's wait and see. But yeah, for one, my man, for one, this Palace is just. <laughs> Sacking Vieira just before this game was really bad, but. Anyway, it's free kick for Palace in here. They may get another goal back. 15 minutes to go. You know, I cannot see. They need a miracle to come back. But who knows? Football is a funny game, remember. They're better. They're better. I hope they get rid of it. Right, free really? kick in here. Ooh, I was against Arsenal. The finish. I say it's pretty much over soon. Be pretty much over soon, my brother. Saka with another two goals, another assist as well. What a player, by the way! What a player. Big up to everyone, people. Smash the pool. Let me know if you think Arsenal's going to win the league. Yes or no? Just let me know. Smash the pool. Looks like it's going to be the year. By the look of it, just let me know, please. Let me know in the live chat. Let me know. Smash the pool. Smash the like. Bring the likes up on this stream. And please make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. And subscribers away from um, 2,000 subscribers. So, yeah. Close, very close. Ten months of hard work. So, I think I'm gonna get out today. I've got a big feeling I will reach a thousand subscribers today after El Clasico Barcelona tonight against Real Madrid. But let's wait and see, people. Who? Palos in here. That free kick. But yeah, people, bring the likes up. Really appreciate the support and the love. Make sure you keep subscribing. Smash the like on this stream. And yeah, we're going to do the match review straight after. And uh, let me know if you think Arsenal is going to win the Premier League. What a play. Gabriel Jesus, that penalty? Nah. Come on, get up, Gabriel Jesus. Can Palace score three yeah. goals in 10 minutes? What? Can Palace score three goals in 10 minutes? Well, <laughs> it's, it's free to dream. <laughs> I'm just throwing the question. Oh, why, right, man? This Palace is just a oh. joke, man. Right, sat in here. But look, they had it, you know, they had the... Before Arsenal had their chances and score, Palace had the best chance, hitting the post. Right, let's see Arsenal in here. It's Ten minutes to go. My man, uh, you are your Wi-Fi know. is worse. No, 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 it wasn't my Wi-Fi. It, it was just I for some reason it, I just randomly pressed some button and it just kicked me off. But yeah, you were. I think Palace they didn't have chances, but except for that Zaha one, they had no other chances. Yeah, that was when the game was still nil-nil. They hit the post. Yeah, but then after that... If Palace would have scored that, this game would have been completely... Uh, Palace would have been destroyed anyways. I'll be honest. The game would have been finished. Even well, if... The Algiers is in here. Even if Palace even scored that moment. That's how bad Palace are. That's how bad... I want to get relegated now. The better get relegated or else. And sacking Vieira before this game was a mistake. Because they weren't playing well under Vieira. It was just no finishing. So. You know, uh, Palace will be up there in the uh, regulation zone for sure until the end of the season. Yeah, especially sacking Vieira just added that more pressure now. 
So silly to sack Vieira. Absolutely shocking. Okay, sack him after this game so you have time for the international break. Look at this game and then after the game you can just, you know, do that sacking bit. But sacking him before this game where you feel they would turn up. But, well, Palace owners are a disgrace, but... Palace is making some changes in here and also Arsenal is ready to make a few changes. Oh, this has been a dead game in the second half. Palace have not been able to do anything. Palace is just shit, man. They've been horrible today. But like I said, you know, credit to Arsenal as well. Right, Jorginho is coming on. The plastic Jorginho. Ben White is coming off. Yeah, let's not hear um, Ben White had a decent performance today. He had an assist today and, yeah, had a good game. Ben White is doing well as a right back. Surprise, surprise, he's doing really well as a right back. I'm not a fan of him, but, look, he's doing well. Yeah. This season has been really good. Uh, Martinelli as well coming off. Rotating. He opened the score today with a great finish. Great strike by Martinelli. Anyways, people, keep bringing the likes up. Vamos, vamos. Bring the likes up, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know who's going to win the Premier League. Let me know if Arsenal is going to win. Yes or no? So I'm far, not. five people smashed the ball and said, yeah, Arsenal. So okay. far, everyone's saying Arsenal is going to win. Unfortunately, looks like... I mean, you predicted Man City. You predicted Man City to win it. So you have to stick with it. I think. Yeah, my man, yeah, I predict Manchester City to win, yeah. And uh, I think Manchester. probably everyone else did as well. I have to stick with Manchester City until the end of the season. But, look, let's be real in here. Looks like it's going to be Arsenal year because they will have, what, 10 games left after this one, I remember. They're at the Europa League as well. They're at the Europa League as well. So they will only have Premier League. And on a paper, I know they still have to play Liverpool. They still have to play... Chelsea. Chelsea, Newcastle. But when you actually look on the paper, I mean, the next game after the international break is a home against Leeds. I'm not saying Leeds is easy. Like, you know, Leeds is fighting for their lives to stay up in the Premier League. Yeah. So that no, may this, be a harder game, but uh, still. The next yeah. five um, the next five are Leeds, Liverpool, West Ham, Southampton and City. So they have easy games except that Liverpool and City one. So... Sadly enough, actually, you know what? I don't mind Arsenal in the league. It's not, oh, I don't hate Arsenal the club. It's just their fans. That's it. That's really it. Do you think it is Arsenal was a club that I never mind until this season? Like, they just think that because they might going to win the Premier League, like Arsenal fans think they're the best club in the world. What Come mean? on. I'm, bigger, I'm, I'm on my way to 2,000 subscribers. I'm bigger than Arsenal. I mean, ba- never, based mind, on the, never mind other clubs. I mean, based, on the season, based on this season, the current form probably is. But. To be honest, look, Arsenal, they deserve to be top of the league. They have been the best team in the Premier but League this season. I just want to say... With the best I'm, style of football and the best football as well. Look, I'm not, say- not going to take praise out of Arsenal by saying this, but they've only been good this season because Liverpool are Chelsea and... Tottenham have not been able to turn to themselves. They haven't been able to be in... What we expected from Liverpool, Chelsea and Tottenham was much better than what, we, what we've what we seen. I'm not using that to discredit Arsenal. I'm just saying. Like, just because them three teams haven't been on it, that that's why they're top. Like, oh, yeah, I mean, of course. Like, when you look at Liverpool, when you look at Chelsea, I'm not even going to mention Tottenham, but even City... You know, City's not having a great season in the Premier League. Like, think, compared to City from the last few years. I mean, Liverpool and City used to be so consistent. They used to be, like, the team to, like, they used to perform so well. And now them two, both teams have just been... Liverpool's been worse. But, like, I feel like Man City, if they don't win the Champions League, it's just not been a great season because they need to win that. Champions League. And if you ask any City fan, they'll prefer the Champions League or the Premier League. Come on. I think any City fan would probably say yes. Oh, yeah. City fans will say 
like Guardiola did. We have won plenty of Premier Leagues. We have won plenty of Carabao Cups. We don't care. So, yeah, of course, Arsenal, City fans would love to see that win the Champions League for the very first time. But, yeah, it hasn't been the best City in the Premier League this season. We'll, we will be discussed about that straight after the game. Well, three minutes to go plus extra time. Ref, just finish this bloody shit boring Crystal Palace, I mean, please. The best, uh, this is the best time to win the league. If Arsenal don't win it now, they're probably not going to, they are going to win it, but it'll be, it'll be harder for them next season. Yeah, this but season. let's not forget Arsenal has a very young squad. And I, I'm going to mention that again. Arsenal, if Arsenal wins the Premier League, this is the youngest squad ever to win a, a Premier League. And in a season where Manchester City signed Haaland, I mean, that is a big achievement for Arsenal as a club. But yeah, it's a free kick in here. People, do a massive favour, smash the like on this stream and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts as well in the live chat. Palace in here. Uh, easy. Easy, easy. Just end easy. the game now, man. Just... Well, ref, just blow the whistle. Yeah, because otherwise I'm going to fall asleep in here. Right, sack again. Corner for Arsenal. How good is Saka, man? Mm, Saka, it's... not Shaka. <laughs> Shaq has been doing well as well. Great season with Arsenal and um, he scored a goal today. Yeah, Saka's man. Saka's quality. Like, I'll take him, but since he's had a new contract, he's not going to leave Arsenal, is he? Right, corner for Arsenal in here. Come on, ref. Just please don't give an extra time. Just end the... Ref, please end the game. This is the shoot. We're probably going to fall asleep on stream, guys, if this continues. Because uh, we've been a dead second off to watch. So whoever missed this game, you missed a very bad game. So that's good for you. Yeah, but then when you look, he's been, what? He was 2-0 at half time. So he's been three goals in the second half. But still, you know, after that first half, you knew that say it's over. There's no way Palace is coming back from this. If only Palace had scored that Zaha chance, who knows? But look, another. That's what happens in football, so you can't really complain. Really. Oh, referee, just give at least. Don't even give at least. Give no extra time. Just let, let, let. Well, it's almost 90 minutes now. Let's see how many minutes a ref will give. One ref. Oh, free kick. Free kick for Arsenal. The game is, uh, is over now. Come on, ref. <laughs> Can Palace Come score three score. goals? Can Palace score three goals in like? I mean that 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 the chance of that happening is like zero percent chance because let's see how much injury time there is now. One. I'll give at least one. Let me see. Well, four minutes to. Are you yeah. having a laugh, right? Come free, on, man. You're gonna make us fall asleep. Bloody boring game, please. Well, boring for Palo. Palo is just a boring team, man. Yeah. The goals have been there, but it's been boring football. Let's say have that. Also, right, should, also, should, also should, should be winning this game, though. I'll be saying that right now. Ooh, what a run by Sa. He may score uh, inside oh. the box. Corner Palace. Corner to Palace. Still Sa what? inside the box. Still. Ooh, where, 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 was this, where was this in the rest of the game? Where was this in the first half? These Palace uh, players need to get relegated. They deserve to. But then I can't blame them. I have to be on the owners. Why do you sack Vieira before this game? Doesn't make sense. But... Silly man. They're, they're, Are you crossing they, the ball? They played well with 
they didn't play well with Vieira. They just didn't score the goals. That's where they missed. But look, who knows, man? I mean, Palace have had their chances, but not really in that first half. The only chance I could think of was that Zaha chance. That's probably the only chance they've had. They've only had seven shots, man. And, and XG of 0.56. Should be so much slower, but this game is going so slowly, man. Just end the game already, ref. Come on, this is this is literally the most. Oh, looks like it's gonna finish now. Come on, I just blow it now. Two minutes early. Palace are a joke. Palace oh, an man. absolute joke, man. <laughs> two minutes left, guys. It's literally still two minutes left in this. Arsenal now going to the international break. Eight points clear. Wow. Arsenal, man, they actually are. They, it's their year, man. You just feel like it's their year. Even that Zaha chance, man. You after felt that, you felt like that's Arsenal's year. It's Arsenal's year to win. Because now they've got eight points clear, guys. they got eight points. Mm. But Man City have a game in hand. It's only five points the gap then. So, yeah. I mean, if Arsenal are going to drop points, it's probably at the Anfield and Etihad. Those are the two games like a team dropping points off. So, I think we can I think we can be Arsenal, but I don't think it, it's like a because we do turn up in big games, but I can't see I think it'll be a draw. I think they'll probably draw versus Man City. Good chance Palace now just miss a good save by Ron. Well, I mean what's the point now, Palace? Like just no, it's <laughs> bloody over now. Should be over now. Just blow the whistle for it. Oh, I think it's such a dead game. Is there a way they can end the game now? Because you know, yeah, it's finished now. Come on, ref. I know you want to blow it. I know you want to. Yeah, it's finished, my man. Finally, after watching that dead game, it's over. I say, people, full time. Um, Arsenal four, Palace one. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that oh, was a misery, yeah, guys. That, that was a pain to watch. Okay, you don't know how much pain that was to watch. We finally got through it, though. We didn't sleep because uh, if it was eight minutes, then uh, we probably would have not survived. But yeah, it's over now. The dead game has ended, so Palace are a joke. I'm sorry, Palace are a joke. What was that performance? Right, let me just quickly share the screen, my man. We well, can see the a... stats in here as well. Oh, the stats even with. How have Palace had four shots on target? Oh my. No, no. Just now, at the end, they had what, yeah. maybe f two or three of them? Probably, yeah. That's, that's probably where it came, isn't it? But yeah. Uh... What can we say? <laughs> I know. That was, that's just sums up Palace, really, in the last few days. Sacking Vieira. Yeah. They will be in trouble. I'm telling you now that Palace hope, will be in trouble. You know what? I, don't, I mean, I said, I don't think they're going to get relegated, but I hope they do. Like, I really hope they do get relegated. Because they're in this fight now. They are in this fight. They were, ne they were never out of it. They were just, you know... I think Wolves will be the team to survive. I think Wolves are going to come to be survived. I think Palace are in this race to get relegated, man. Like they, they are they are only two points off that relegation and three points. So, yeah. Look, Palace are in a mess. Palace are really in a mess. And I would say, why did you sack him? Because it was the international break now. You can look for a manager now. Sack Vieira after this game because then you have time to look for a manager in this international break. So... Look, another loss, another expected loss, to be fair. I expect you also couldn't win, so. Yeah, for sure. Really yeah, but I mean, let's just quickly talk about a game. 
a good first half for Arsenal. A good, well, overall, it was a good game. Arsenal had the game under control. Palace had their chance. Was, you know, I, mean, I feel like their chance was a bit. It was a bit like it was all with a good effort, but it was a bit flu. Like it, 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 you need a bit of luck for that to go in. So I can't. They didn't have any clear cut chances until near the end. Let's like I'll be honest. Like the only chance I could think of in that first half was Zaha. I couldn't think of any other chance they had. So Arsenal, you felt were just in control. And even if Palace went one 0 up, could you really see them hanging on? Probably not. Like I couldn't see them hanging on at all if they even scored. So. But then you had a good strike by Martinelli, who's having a good yeah. season, and then you had. Sack a goal that oh. two 0 at half time. I just had a feeling that you know that's it. Yeah. Game is over. Like yeah, I mean, unless Palace score early, but then even oh. that you could not. After that first forty five minutes, there you you could tell no. that there's no way Palace can come like, back. You could you couldn't you couldn't even tell the difference between Saliba even Saliba in the back or not because Saliba might be up several weeks so. That doesn't help Arsenal at all. Saliba's are injured now for several weeks. Um, so, but Palace had no threat. So, what could you really do? Palace, uh, they had no threat. Arsenal just controlled, really. I mean, even if they played a Mustafi in his old time, they still wouldn't concede because that's how bad they were. So, yeah. um, Palace, hopefully you go down. I don't see you guys going down, but hopefully you go down after this performance and second Vieira. You deserve to go down. I don't care. Man. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't... I don't think that was a good thing, sacking Vieira right now. Like you said, you know, they should at least they have cape him for this game. Yeah. Who knows? He might want to have bring some magic. I mean, I I think they would have made it at least more competitive. Let's say it like that. They would have made it more... It would have been like a 3-1 or 2-1. I think it should know at least. But I feel like there was a style in play. There was a you saw a style with Vieira. It was just the finishing. There was no attackers which could bury. And Zaha was a bit unlucky today. He was probably their only goal scoring threat. The Palace have no strikers, honestly. Mateta has pace but no finishing. AU has nothing. They have no attackers that like that are clinical except Zaha, who can't do it by himself. He needs support around him. And he he might leave this summer because of his contract expiring. So Palace yeah. are in the mud right now. Palace are not in a great position because. Do you think? Do you think uh, Sa will? Li- I think he will leave Palace. I think he will probably, most likely, probably stay in the Premier League. Do you know? I, mean, I can't I- actually see what club can you see Saha going to. Uh, in I could see Tottenham. Honestly, if you ask yeah. me, Tottenham are, because that's what Tottenham are need for wingers. Son's not doing great. I'm looking at, I'm reviewing the big six. Arsenal don't need him. Arsenal do not need him. Liverpool do not need him. Man City don't need him. Man United are fine with wingers. I mean, they do need a winger, but I, think, I don't think Zaha has that level. Chelsea, they already have enough tackers. So I think Zaha, Tottenham are the only team that, like, would go for him. But that's, I don't think he fits any other club except Tottenham. Maybe. He'll probably, he'll probably go to a club. I, I don't see him moving outside of England, to be honest. Like, I don't see any club going for him. Unless Barca do a classic Barca where they just buy players uh, unnecessarily. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I don't see Barca. Barca are different from them now. Barca just don't, won't buy. He, he won't go outside of England. Let's just say it like that. Like, he won't no, go. I, I don't think Barca wouldn't look into him. I don't want him at Barca. <laughs> Not a bad player, but I want Saha uh, Barca. And so um, he's thirty. He's thirty plus now. He's heading into his retirement. He's not like he's gonna still have a years in him, but he's gonna he's gonna not be there for the future. He's he's only thirty. He's thirty one, thirty two now. So he's not gonna be there for the future. He's probably gonna be there for now. So yeah, Tottenham will probably go for him if there if there's any club. And I don't see Spurs, but if there's any club that's gonna go for him, probably Spurs. Yeah. I mean, let's quickly mention about uh, Martinelli, oh. Saka again, Saka with two goals oh, and an assist as well. Clearly, Saka was one of the match. There was yeah. some good performance, like I've mentioned, Ben Wai, who surprised Ben really I mean, good this season. Ben Wai, like, I, like had, I mean, he's worth the 50 million, isn't he? 
He was really worth I mean, it took him a season, but he's worth the 50 million. I feel like Arta is the main main reason for this, though. Just because you saw our centre back, he wasn't great, but you play him at right back, he's good. But I feel like they're st- the Arsenal one today, congrats. But I feel like there are there's still there's still concerns about Arsenal defensively. They look much better today, but I don't think this is a test. Palace are awful attack. They are just I know Saliba for several weeks, according to reports, doesn't help at all. Because he can miss the Liverpool game and City game. And those two games are massive for the title race for me. Those two games will probably decide the title. Because if Arsenal don't win, if they can get if they can win one of those and draw one of those, that'll be a success. But I can see him not I don't see him winning them two now. Because Saliba might be out for those two games. So yeah. This game wasn't really a test. It was just a simple game for Arsenal. Once they scored the first goal, they just really dominantly controlled yeah, the game. Yeah, true. Um, big up to everyone who's watching. Just quickly, one. Let me just quickly put um, Arsenal line up in here. Um, 20 people watching eyes. Love you, Fuzz, in the live chat. Smash the like on this stream, please. Make sure you smash the like. Bring the likes up. Um, the poll is going strong. Looks like it's going to be Arsenal year. But... As you've mentioned about Saliba, yeah, I actually saw that this morning on Twitter. According to a lot of reports, Saliba might be out for a few weeks and he might end up missing, you know, the City game and also... I think Liverpool, Liverpool I game. think, I feel like the Liverpool game's pretty much confirmed he's missing. Well, not confirmed, but I think that's going to be most... The City game, I could see him making. I think City game, he might just... But that's assuming you get him into action. So, look, holding in defence was brilliant. I mean, he was decent today, considering how Yeah, bad. I mean, look, holding was, was was good today. But then, like you've just mentioned, it's and only through Sopalas, right? <laughs> they haven't got any threat up front. I mean, I, I like... Apart from the, Saar, right? You know what? I like Palace talent. They have talent. I'm not going to like Alise, Eze. Those two I like. But, like, they're still youngsters, and you can't ask them to do a job. Like, they're good. I agree. They're good. But you can't ask them to, like, do a job for you in terms of survival because they are talents. And I feel like they need to move outside Palace because I'm so they deserve a better club than Palace. Maybe like a Wolves. Let's say Wolves who don't really have pressure on them. Like, they have pressure, but they don't have that much. They're, well, like a Villa. Villa would fit perfect because there's no pressure at all. They're mm. not in Europe. They're not going to go for relegation. So... I feel like they're only shining like Zaha and he can't do it on his own. He just can't. And when you have an attacker of Ayu or Mateta, what do you expect to happen? Like, this not a good win for Arsenal. Um, brilliant response from the sporting game, though. I mean, brilliant response. But how they they they, they know how to respond. Like, we've seen it this season. They respond really well. A lot well. of not... times, yeah. So true. The way they have reacted, especially in the Premier League. We know that, you know, we've said this many, many times, right? I said Arsenal will not, I don't think Arsenal will win the Europa League just yeah. because they will take the Premier League as priority. And Arsenal squads, for me, and you heard me saying this was before the Sporting game. Um, what we would, Was that straight after the Fulham game last week? Probably, yeah. Yes. That was straight after the Fulham game last week. And I said, look, I cannot see Arsenal go and, and win the Europa League and also winning the Premier League. Unfortunately, this squad, when I say this squad's not good, I mean, when you look, it's a very young squad, right? Very young squad. There's a lot of talent in this Arsenal squad. I do strongly believe that, you know, Arsenal <laughs> in, a, in the coming good. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like their squad is good, but it's not enough to challenge for all fronts. Like, Liverpool, like, the difference between I say Liverpool and my Arsenal was like when they compete with City, Liverpool had the squad to go all fronts. Like we had and loads of attackers and midfielders who actually were up for it. And the difference between Arsenal is like Arsenal just don't have the squad to compete for all fronts. And look, this is why this this summer is massive because if they can get Declan Rice and maybe one more attacker, then I think they have the squad to challenge at least. Because I feel like Arsenal need to win a Carabao Cup or FA Cup, something like that, next season. They have to, because it's like, you need to win another trophy. Like, winning the Premier League is good. Yeah, it's obviously good. Winning the Premier yeah, League they good. haven't won for 19 but, years. But I feel like next season, they need to go for at least a cup or something. or Because they are going to be in the Champions League. I don't think they'll challenge. I don't know. 
They won't win it. I think I don't think they're ready for it yet. But look, you never know. Champions League Arsenal may strengthen this summer, which I think they will. So you know what? Arsenal need to win a cup next season because I think that's a certain point where you have to start winning other trophies except the Premier League. That's what we haven't we haven't done that since last season where I think we we just wanted the Premier League or Champions League. We didn't focus on the cup competitions, which at that time I wasn't really looking at, but now you look at it considering everything after like looking at it, you felt like we should have won more in that time. So look, Arsenal need to go on the route where they need to go for cup competitions as well. Not this season, but next season they go for like a cup or something because they need to win a cup. Yeah, definitely. I've uh, got in here, Tim John, big up to you. Um, my brother, I hope you're doing well. People keep smashing the like on the stream, do a massive favour. Really appreciate if you could bring the likes up on this stream. And if, of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, the pool's going strong, strong, strong. Like I said, like, I just think it's going to be Arsenal year. Yeah. Uh, my brother says certainly. I mean, I don't know yeah. what he mean, but just let me know in the live chat, guys. Let me know your thoughts as well about today's game, Arsenal so far this season. Like, let's be honest, it looks like it's going to be Arsenal year because I think that, um, they've got a big chance, very, very big chance. Okay. Like, they're out of, you know, European competitions. They only got Premier League to okay. play. And City's still in the FA Cup. City's still in the Champions League. And yeah, OK, City has a better squad, you know. A squad that you would think, yeah, they still it's good enough to go and win the Premier League. FA Cup and Champion League, but you guys know that City will take the Champion League as I a priority. Like, and they're facing Bayern remember, so they can't rotate versus Bayern. They just you can't rotate versus Bayern or Madrid or even Chelsea if they reach the semi final. So maybe it's helpful for Arsenal if they go far in the Champions League because end of the season you're gonna have Champions League games if you're in the semi final. So it could actually help Arsenal if they go further and further into Champions League, winning the league. So, and them going out the Europa League could be a blessing. And I, I don't think it is, but it, it might be because you, you're only going to play one game a week pretty much now from now until the end of the season. Yeah. So, like, and I think the Saliba injury, if they can get through that period, then that's a good for Arsenal. Because it's, but I feel like the, the pivotal games are Liverpool and Man City because you're travelling to Anfield and Etihad. So, if you can get at least a point at that he had and a point at Anfield, it's a good good point because they're tough places to go to. Always tough places to go to them too. So yeah, I think if they can get those two piv those are the games which are pivotal. Those two. Yeah, I oh, we're just gonna bring the games up now, but um just quickly, um like I said this again as well, um after the Fulham game I said if Arsenal, uh, they still have to play Chelsea, by the way. And it, look, Chelsea. when you look at the paper, right, 10 games left for them, right? They got yeah. leads after the international like, break. I don't know. We, I, don't know we, I think, no, we said that. We said, we say, oh, Southampton's easy. They're fine for their lives, remember? They exactly. are gonna same with like, Leeds, same with like, West Ham. Like Southampton, you saw yesterday, I'm not, so I, I Spurs were bad. I'll be honest, Spurs were bad. But Southampton were not going to give up. So teams like these are not going to give up until the end. So I think they'll have enough to beat Leeds. Anfield's a test. If they beat Liverpool, they win the league. I think if they're going to have major confidence from then. If they yeah, win, I think when you look at um, Arsenal games left until the end of the season, we we did say that last week, and I know they still have to play Chelsea and I wait to Newcastle, but by then, right? Because I believe City is going to drop points. I think Arsenal will drop points. I think everyone else will <laughs> drop points still until the end of the season. Yeah, there's not such an easy game in football, especially in the Premier League. And all these teams like Leeds, West Ham, Southampton, like Brighton, Newcastle, they're all fighting for something, right? They're all yeah. fighting for something, like Arsenal's fighting to win the title. But if Arsenal manager to get three points out of between that City game or Liverpool, I strongly believe Arsenal because will win the league. I'm looking at City's fixtures, right? I'm looking at the big six. They're only facing, the only thing they have to face are Liverpool away at home, Brighton away, tough place to go to always Brighton, 
Then they go face Arsenal. Always, that's going to be a massive game. And Chelsea. So if you look at them four, those are the tough games which City have until the end of the season. And that's on paper. And I'm, I'm just assuming on paper because te- they are going to face teams like Leeds and Everton and Southampton and Ble- Le- Le- Leicester who... Leicester are there. Le- Le- Leicester are in that relegation. So no team's easy from now because Leeds are going to fight for their lives. West Ham, always tough place to go to. London the stadium when it's on it, it's very loud. Southampton at home is probably the easiest one because I think Arsenal just have too much. So... I feel like the away games are more massive than Arsenal at the home because I think at home they're very good. Away, away is a tough one because they got West Ham away, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool away, Man City away, and Newcastle as well. So I feel the period where Arsenal have to do well in is Arsenal, Chelsea, Brighton and Newcastle. That's the four games where you feel... I think they'll draw versus City. They'll get a point, I think. They might just get a point. I feel like they'll beat Chelsea... They'll draw versus Newcastle, and I feel like they'll beat Brighton. So that'll be a good run. I think that'll be good points, Tally. If they can get that, good point, Tally. Because when you look at um, going down, um, we we did talk about this last week. So their final day is a way to yeah. sorry, is at home against Wolves. That's that's actually Wolves. And... Are, Wolves will be fine by then. I think Wolves will be fine because it, they actually have an easy game on that final day. Because Wolves will be fine. I'm telling you right now, Wolves will be fine by then. Because I think Wolves could beat teams. They can beat. They have enough to survive until. So I feel like Arsenal will have an easier... Who Man City got? Man City got Brentford away. So they both got easy games. Because Brentford, I think, will drop off. And Wolves will be fine. So both of them will win. I think it will go down for the before games. It won't be decided on the final day. I don't think it will. I think it'll be done before. Um, and then before that, they go Nottingham Forest as well, because Nottingham Forest is going to be up there, like fighting for their lives. So yeah, I mean, like ten games to go is not. There's not an easy game in football, yeah. especially in the Premier League. But like everyone else, still have tough games to go. Like even like Liverpool to get into the top four, Tottenham, even Man United still got tough games. But I don't know. Look, my man, it's another game gone. Another three points for Arsenal. Another good that's, performance. That's three points is all you want really in a tower race. So, they yeah. don't care. So, look. Arsenal are going to win the league. I said it already. And, yeah. It, it was um expected, to be honest. But, yeah. um, I, Brian, uh, Brian actually beat Grimsley 5-0, by the way. I didn't know that. Brian yeah, the FA Cup. When I last saw was 4-0. I'm watching Paris Germain against Rams at the minute. Uh, Rain, sorry, I'm but I mean, I don't really care. Once Man United to kick off, I'm just gonna switch. Paris Germain is boring, small club with a small <laughs> mentality. But yeah, just quickly with Arsenal, right? People, big up to everyone who's watching. Really appreciate the love and support. If you guys could bring the likes up on this stream, only got four likes, 21 people already smashed the poll. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really appreciate the love and support. But the crazy thing in here is that, right? I keep saying this, right? How crazy that is going to be that Arsenal winning the Premier League in a season where Manchester City sign Haaland, right? Uh, man, this is going to have to be a big achievement for Arsenal. A very young squad. And I mean, remember, this is the youngest... If Arsenal wins the Premier League, that's going to be the youngest squads ever in the Premier League history to win the league. I feel like Man City, if they focused all on the Premier League, mostly they would have been clear. If they actually focused on the Premier League more. That's what I would say. But then again, you have to give praise to Arsenal, really, more. Yeah. Man City, I know they haven't been great this season, but they, they've won games. It's not like they've dominated all games. They've actually been through struggles, like Bournemouth 2-0 away. I know it's only Bournemouth, but you're still 2-0 down. You 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 beat Liverpool 3-2. You beat Tottenham 3-1. Unlucky versus United in that first game, 3-1. But then you, the Champions League mentality... In that, in that second game, 3-2. So they've got late winners, and Arsenal do deserve this title. But what I will say is you don't get what you deserve in football, really. That's, that's rarely the case. 
But I think Arsenal might just do it. I said it in my top four predictions. I'm sticking with it. I think they might just. They'll just do it. I think Man City would focus on the Champions League if they. But I feel like if Man City just focus on the Champions League and they don't win it, that just goes all wrong. So it feels like. But the mad thing is, both of them teams, Arsenal and City, could have awful seasons. Because Arsenal, first of all, could go trophyless despite their amazing season. They've had amazing. They go trophyless. Um, and you look at Man City, they just say they don't win the Champions League. It's a fail. It's not a failure, but I feel that's a disappointment because you won the Champions League. Like it, it's basically PSG, basically in reminders for me because it's like not the same as PSG because Premier League is much compared to the league. Or, but I feel like they're, they're, they're going to win the Premier League mostly every year if they continue to do what they're doing. So look, both teams could have failures if they don't win it. That that's where. And Arsenal could go trophyless. It's a chance to Arsenal could go trophyless despite their amazing season they've had. So if Arsenal ends without trophy, you know, ninety five percent, or I probably would say ninety nine percent of Arsenal fans will say Arteta out. No, they will no. still not appreciate all the you know everything no, Arsenal no. has done this season because I, I think, think Arsenal in the Premier League. It's been yeah. really good. No, I think the truth of Arsenal fans wouldn't say after they're out because there is progress, progress in this season. But I feel like, I feel like all the hype about this season's gone wrong if they don't win it because all the hype goes down, and it's like, I don't think they'll be Arteta out, but they'll be like, oh, should they have taken the Carabao Cup more seriously? Should they have taken? The oh, they will definitely go Arteta out. No, you know what Arsenal they fans will. is like. They- they won't. I'm telling you right now. I think there is progress in this season. I think Arsenal fans do realise there is progress. But I, I don't think Arsenal, if they don't win the league, it's not a ball. If they don't bottle it, if they don't win the league, it's just if Man City beat them at the Etihad, I'm not sure if they win it. I'm just not sure if they, if they Man City beat them at the Etihad, I think City might just do it. Just because of the mentality they're going to have until the end of the season. But you never, they could be in the Champions League by then. So, it maybe help. What helps Arsenal is they're in the Champions League. The further they go, the further you feel Arsenal win the league because they're gonna have to have they they have to rotate the Premier League. Then they might just have to rotate a little you bit. Mean, the thing is, like, yeah, I mean, uh, City squad's still good enough to you know to rotate and still win. You know, yeah. still go all the way and win the Premier League and the Champions League, but I, I don't know. With City, I, against Bayer, like I said, I've said this a few times, I'm going to stick with Bayer. I think Bayer will just do Manchester City. Yeah, I, I think also Bayer just has too much quality and not saying City hasn't got quality. Yeah, they have. They've got so much quality. I think City and Bayer probably has two of the best squads around yeah. top five leagues. You know, I think when you look at uh, Bayer squads, when you look at City squads, it's just crazy how these two teams can afford to rotate anyone, right? Yeah. Anyone. And yeah, they're just so good that they can afford to rotate anyone. But like, yeah. What, sorry, what, there's going to be the mentality out there with City that they want to win the Champions League. Uh, um, like, uh, Bayern has won 10 bonus leagues in a row, right? <laughs> yeah. so I still think they will win it again, but come on, their mentality is in the Champions League. They yeah, are focused like, in the Champions League. If Man City go out versus Bayern, I, I feel scared for Arsenal because I feel like Man City will go on that run we've been all waiting for, we've been saying. I feel like they'll go on a run if they got the Champions League. But it could affect them mentally as well. We, I don't really care the person. It could affect them mentally as well. Yeah, I man, I think you're right. It can go both ways. You know, yeah. it can affect them mentally as well. But then, will they pay? You know, will Arsenal pay the, the price and they go all the way in the Premier League? Got that run that we were saying. But I cannot see City exactly. going in a good run this season. This is yeah. a season where City will not go in a good run in the Premier League. No like, one's will. Because it's. it's but Arsenal did, you know, in the first few months of the season. Arsenal went in a good run. Apart from Arsenal, we didn't see anyone going in a good run. I mean, it's the World, it's the World Cup, man. It came in the middle of the season, which doesn't help teams a lot. I didn't help the teams that went on a run. Like I think Liverpool went on a run just before the run. Arsenal, they didn't go on a run, but it didn't affect them at all. Um, Man City went on a bit of a run as well. So, look, it's... 
it's exciting. Yeah, but, but when we talk about, you know, going in a good run, mean like, you know, how City's been doing, you know, in the past years. And yeah. like going seven, eight, nine, ten games in a row, you know, when you look at City this season, I don't think City has done a, what, four games? Yeah. Over four games in a row? I don't think City yeah. has done it. Um, and by the way, the draw has been made for the FA Cup. It's Man City versus Sheffield United and uh, Brighton will face the winners between Manchester United and Fulham. So we could see a Manchester derby final, by the way. We could Ooh, see one. la la. Uh, we've got uh, my man yeah. in a live chat onto the wall. Big up to you. Hope you're doing well, my brother. And um, yeah, I mean, interesting draw, you isn't know, it? This like, gives 16. me... This gives me reminders from us in 2019-20, to be honest, where Arsenal performed so good. This gives me reminders from when we won the league, where we were just unstoppable. Like, when we're on it, we are so good. And Arsenal remind me of that team. It, even better, you can say. So, I feel like Arsenal will win the league. Um, but you never know. Like, I feel like it depends on the Champions League, really. If Man City got the Champions League, they probably will probably lose the league. I can see them affected mentally most likely. If they if they if they're still in the Champions League, because Man City have a squad, they have a big squad, but I can't see them going on that run. There's no no one team can go on a run. It's it's just how the league works, and this could be the best season in ages where we're gonna see anyone can be anyone really, like Southampton. Almost beat Spurs, like literally, and I mean uh, Southampton beat Man City at one stage in the Carabao Cup. So yeah, two 0 with our City yeah. having one Sean Tiger yeah. as well, and then they a couple of weeks ago they beat Chelsea as well. Yeah. It's just like look, uh, you just cannot predict anything. Anything can this season. Anyone can beat anyone. Look at Liverpool this season. Look at Chelsea this yeah. season. Look at Tottenham this season. Like Tottenham has been so bad that they're still up there to finish top four. It just like it just shows how bad Liverpool and um, Chelsea have been. Like it's just no team has been great this season for. So yeah, it, it's not not great at the moment in terms of Liverpool. Man City have not been no no not Man City. Liverpool and Chelsea have not been able to thrive. So yeah. Uh, big up to my brother. He says um, Spurs are trash. Right, but some other to you, my brother. Uh, bring the likes up, please, people on this stream. Keep bringing the likes, people. I've got so many people smashing the pool. Twenty-eight people already smashed the pool, and they got six likes on this stream. Please make sure you do. I really appreciate the love and support. By the way, I just hope you're doing well, my brother. We got El Clasico tonight. That will be my interesting. That is the one that. We need to finish Madrid tonight. La Liga I want Madrid. I want Madrid. I want Madrid. <laughs> nah, don't say that. I'm going to kick what? you off from my stream, man. No, because, no, I respect their fans. You say that. Uh -huh. Oh, miss and... Uh, what a trash. What? Uh, it doesn't matter. There's, we always get people like this. It doesn't yeah, matter. <laughs> you more than welcome to just... Not even 10 people watching. Uh, no um, problem. It's your opinion. You, you're more than welcome just to, you know, the same way you come in is like a door. When it opens in and out, it's the same way to go out, right? And much love to you. Have a lovely Sunday. Enjoy your sad life because it looks yep. like you're just a sad person. And enjoy. And I wish you the best. Do you want to come on? Then stop hiding. Oh, don't worry. Look, look, look at the picture. Look at the profile picture on YouTube, right? You, look, look, that actually just says everything. <laughs> yeah. Instead yeah. of people are just like, you know. Yeah. We're, we're not, we're not, people, affect, that's it. guys, I, what, what you're trying to do is affect us. We're not affected. Guys, oh, right? don't worry, man. I love it. I love it. Look, I love to see these kind of people. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Yeah. Why you are yeah. one of ten people watching, right? It's just like it's just... now he's gone. I think he's gone now. Oh uh, yeah, this kind of people will only comes in here. But this is people that knows me very well. This is people are uh, very jealous of like the way that I have been on YouTube. Uh, almost two thousand subscribers in ten months, right? You don't really see. You barely see people doing this after ten months, and it's just jealous. And guess what? Yeah. They will even hate more when they see football for in about two years having about 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. 
like keep coming the haters keep coming just keep bringing the haters yeah I, I, you guys I mean, gonna hate even more when you see in football Ferreira at the top of youtube and at the top of the world as well but look, i'm not gonna waste i'm tired yeah. today i wasn't yeah. even meant to do this stream because i feel an absolutely tired just tired today right too much work yeah. busy live as always remember I, I have to do youtube i have my private work i've got only fans as well if you guys don't know about it because some of you want to hear you need to go and check my only fans you probably will start liking me better if you check my only fans accounts but by the way um my brother in here says how the I know, surviving that. He's, a, I mean, he's a sore loser and he, he just I still has... think Kane will be at Tottenham next season. What? No, he won't. I this is it. Honestly, I think he, he could, you know, because I think Levy will be so stingy. He's just gonna keep Kane. He's gonna keep the unhappy because Levy's so good at that. He just keeps he doesn't he's still in a Tottenham shirt. It's his choice if he wants to go. It's Levy's choice if if he wants to keep Kane or not. Still. It's his choice. So I could see Levy just being too stingy. I think you know, I will go for Ozzyman, potentially. I don't know. I mean, I just think Kane will still say at Spurs next season. For some reason, I think, I don't know. Yeah. He just wants to stay. If he has to, if he leaves Tottenham, I think he will be signing for Man United. We've yeah. said this a few times. He probably just want to stay in the Premier League because we know Bayer will go for him. Bayer really want to sign Aaron Kane last season. I and... think Harry Kane will probably stay most likely. But then again, if they get good money for him, they'll sell it. So I think Levy could ask for at least 150 million. That's probably the minimum price. I, I could see that money. Who's going to pay 150 million for Kane? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot see anyone paying for that. I'm not saying like in today's football markets, you know, he probably deserves. But I just cannot see anyone paying 150 million for Aaron Kane. Let's see if Man United actually gets the new Warners and, you know, they go for it. And like, there you go, 150 million. Yeah, we sign um, Harry Kane. Uh, my brother in here says, Predictions for El Clasico. I mean, mm. you know, we we own Madrid. We're the big daddies of Madrid. We always beat Madrid. We know how to play against Madrid. Madrid always have a different mentality against Barcelona. And um, at the camp now as well, I think we're going to beat Madrid maybe 1-0 or 2-1. Uh, but yeah. I, I, I'm confident that we're going to beat I mean, Madrid. I hope Madrid win. Sorry for all the Barca fans here. I hope Madrid win. What is your think, predictions, by the way? Honestly, 2-1 Barca. But I don't really care who wins. Uh, it only goes down either way. But I think Barca win. It's at the Camp now, And you just know how to play. The only team that knows how to play Real Madrid. So, yeah, Barca 2-1. Lewandowski will get his goal finally. And probably Pedri. No Pedri. But you're still probably going to win. Because yeah, that's... Pedri's not playing. I thought he was getting to get back. But then now. And... Uh... My brother in here says as well that we haven't won a camp now since 2018. Yeah, yeah it's true. And um, I to go to man when it's loud. We haven't won as well La Liga since what three years ago. So that was last time we won La Liga was in season 19, 18, 19. Yes, that was last time. Like we beat Madrid as well. But it doesn't matter. We won them. We always beat them. We've beat them yeah. twice this season already. Even if, Madrid, and, uh, even if Madrid win, right, it's like La Liga's not going to change. I still think Barca... Even if Madrid beats Barca tonight, I still think we're going to win La Liga because six yeah. points. Madrid's still in the Champions League. You know, the mentality is in the Champions League. Forget about it. They, they don't just... care about La Liga. They just want Champions League. And you can say they're Champions League merchants, but... That legacy in the Champions they want they want to continue that legacy going on. So, who wouldn't? Let's say that. There. Oh yeah, of course. But then um, I think we're gonna beat them. I think we're gonna beat them. Yeah. But yeah, big up to everyone. People's watching. Really appreciate the love and support from the ones that actually wants to support. <laughs> not not some people like you know, like <laughs> what the hell? What is this? Big jealous. <laughs> right. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. And uh, as you have a sad life, you're yeah. probably a fat fucker, a fat pig. And uh, just go and like sit down, have a cup of tea. 
enjoy watching Man United against Fulham and um, oh. yeah, just enjoy no, like, life. You know, I football holistic roasted him. He said not even ten people watching. Like you're one of the ten. Yeah, that was yeah. That what a reply that was. He's my man in a way. He has to stick. He ha he ha he has to stick to football for area anyway. Um, but yeah, my man, it's not really much to talk about. Like the pool's going strong. Everyone thinks Arsenal's going to win the league. Everyone just thinks Arsenal's going to win the league. They're all smashing the pool, but they're forgetting to smash the like on the stream and subscribe to the channel. Remember, it's been ten months of hard work, but almost two thousand subscribers, and I'm sure I'm going to reach that today, straight after El Clasico. We're going to beat Madrid tonight. All my Barca fans will all come on my stream. Probably have about 400 people watching. And then, yes, we're going to reach 2,000 subscribers tonight. And there's going to be a little party tonight. There's going to be a little party to celebrate. La Liga is over. That's it. Finished. La Liga is done. And 2,000 subscribers. Come on. What's a day to reach 2,000 subscribers? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, but, yeah, let me just quickly check the poll. Still going strong, 37 people smashed the pool. I'm going to end the pool right now. And yeah, the pool's going big, 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 big in here. The pool's going big. Fucking hell. 89% said, yeah, Arsenal's going to win the league. 10% said, no, nah, I mean, I, they will win the Premier League. Unfortunately, I've said this a few times. I'm going to say again before I say, gracias, adios, I'll see you later. I think it's going to be Arsenal year. All the signs looks like everything that we've been talking for 56 minutes in here basically is going to be Arsenal year. Yep. I said, that in, I said that in my top four predictions. I am <clears throat> still sticking on that. Yeah. So, yeah, Arsenal probably all in the league. I mean, it's good for the league, but it's bad because Arsenal fans are just be annoying as well now. But, yeah. I respect Arsenal as a club, but not as their fan base, not their fan base at all. Their fan base is just like, they they celebrate too much. Let's say that. Yeah, but the problem is with Arsenal fans is that they celebrate too much and they celebrate yeah. without winning anything and they end up... But they were happy the... about they were happy about going out the Europa League. Like, they were happy about going out a competition which you, sh you could win. It's a European competition. Don't get it, but... Look, it's their fan base. So. Yeah, um, my brother in here says Arsenal all the way yep. for me too. Yeah, I think they will win Everything it now. Says it. Everything says Arsenal in the league. Like, there's so many signs. Too many signs that says they will win the league. By the way, City are smashing seven, six past teams. When, scary. When you have Haaland, who is the best finisher in the world. Yeah, my man, team. he's scary, but then... Burnley. Let's see if they're gonna do against Bayern. Not sure about Bayern. When Bayern not come out, I'll be here. Um, sorry, I have to say that. Hopefully Bayern is also a scary team. Bayern, Bayern is also a scary. I mean, when you have Kripa Moting up front, who who we say trash, but he still scores somehow, some way. Yeah. Some True. Way. He still scores goals. You know, like he has a team that creates around him. So, I mean, look, I just think, look, he's just he's. It's just a sign that Arsenal is going to win the league. That is the reality, my man. Like I said, I mean, I think look, if if Arsenal wins the, the Premier League this season, they will become the youngest squads ever to do it, right? Yeah. And in a season where Manchester City have signed Haaland, and I mean, I think that it's just going to be you know a big achievement and for Alvarez Arsenal well. as a club. And also... They haven't won the Premier League for 19 years. And when you see teams like Chelsea, Liverpool, and also City and Manchester United spending all that money, and like Arsenal is having a brilliant season. They've been the best team so far. Arsenal's all credit been... goes to Arteta, because Arteta, I think Arteta deserves most of the credit that I Arsenal... feel like Man City, Man City really made a mistake. So this is drink when he's used to Arsenal. But that, that's really a bad mistake from City. But... Look, maybe City didn't think they'll be this good. No one thought Arsenal would be this good. But the thing is, like, City hasn't been as good as, as they've been in the past this season. Yeah. Like, I don't think City has won five games in a row this season in the Premier League. 
Sure. And I'm sure they have. And I think they have done four time, four games, but I haven't done five in a row. So for a team like C, for a team like C, it should be easy doing that. But yeah. And uh, my brother in here says Bayer City will be the same as they face in preseason. I predict like one nil on aggregate. I just want to uh, know you don't see Bayern scoring them that way. So you don't see like a Bayern or see I think they both score because honestly, when you have quality of Haaland, uh, Muller, Musiala, uh, Foden, I can think of maybe Gnabry. So. What I'm basing on, so you're gonna do your thing. No one's gonna. Both of the teams, one of them is gonna score, one of them not. So, yeah, I just want to know why do you think? So you, you're, so you're saying one of them not gonna score. That's what he's saying. Is you the thing is, yeah, when you see Bayern and City, you expect both to go up there and put a spectacular and you know we've seen plenty of goals, but then. These kind of teams, they are so good. They score so many goals. They probably end up blocking each other, and he may end up finish like one nil even way or something yeah. like that. I think so, that yeah, oh, it can happen. I said two two. I think first I got to two two and two one by in second leg. So yeah, I think there'll be goals, but I can understand your prediction because it's like it could go down to. Yeah, it could go. It could happen. But yeah, look, people. And that was it. I was full time. We've reviewed the game pretty much, and um, the chances for Arsenal to win the Premier League it just keeps going higher and higher because, like, they got what ten games left now, and our City still got a game in a hand. But look, eight points clear. It could, it could go, it could drop to five if City win their game in hand. But still, let's not forget our City still in the FA Cup. In the Champions League, is his city priority this season, and Arsenal only got the Premier League to play for. Ten games to go. They basically only have to, let's say, out of ten games, I think if Arsenal manage to get probably seven wins, a draw, or even like two draws, one defeat, or even two defeats, because I cannot see City going all the way and win all the, the rest of the games. This is the season where... I don't think that anyone will go, apart from Arsenal at the beginning of the season, the first half of the season, yeah, Arsenal looked good. They went in a very good run, but I cannot see anyone going in a crazy run, winning like, you know, eight, nine, ten games in a row. So, but look, it looks like it's going to be Arsenal, yeah. And after 19 years, a club like Arsenal, who, you know, got a massive fan base, European history, you know, Arsenal have never won an European competition. They still have to do that. But it's one of the big clubs in England. Definitely not in the top two, for sure. Probably not even in the top three, I would say. You, when you look at history, you know, of course, Liverpool and Man United is far ahead from Arsenal. I don't care what people say. I don't care what Arsenal fans think. They think they're too big. They get their heads too big. Once they, Just because they're top of the Premier League, yeah, you're going to win a Premier League. You're going to win a bloody Premier League after, what, 19 years? Come on. Is, is this a big club? A big club does not go, you know, 19 years without winning their league. So... Come on. But yeah, look, credit to Arsenal. And if they if they win, they deserve, right? I think they've been fantastic this season, better than anyone else. And also because everyone else has been very shocking this season. But yeah, that was a full time Arsenal four, Palace one. I don't think I, I don't think Palace will go down, but they may just have enough to survive. They shouldn't have sacked Vieira just, you know, a few days before this game and just before the international break. But look. They, they know what they're doing. But I think Palace will somehow just be safe and stay in the Premier League. Yeah, my man, we still got um, almost 10 people watching us. Oh, and we have 10. I thought, I thought that guy said not even 10 people watching. <laughs> I mean, now there's 10. Anything you want to say just before we go, my man? I mean, make sure you definitely subscribe for Ferreira and be kind unless, unless we know that person that said what a trash channel. Um, <laughs> he's already hiding right now and watching the United game. Ah, he's not coming back. <laughs> that person is not coming back. But yeah, make sure you join the Classico tonight. And we're hoping to have 2,000 subscribers by the end of the Classico. 
I strongly believe that I'm going to reach 2,000 subscribers <laughs> by the end of El Clasico. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, after after I do the match review and live reaction and stuff, <laughs> and um, my brother says, that guy is silence, crying in a corner. Yeah, probably. But, I mean, not probably, that is true. Just ignore, not the haters. But yeah, I appreciate you, my brother, you coming along. Make sure you tune for El Clasico. That's the one. Yeah. That's the real one today. Never mind no, Arsenal like... Palace, but yeah, <laughs> that is the real one. Tonight is going to be the real one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, El Clasico is not the same. That used to be when Messi was there, Cristiano Ronaldo, or even in the past, you know. Come on, I've been watching El Clasico since, what, 93, 94? Yes, but it's still El Clasico. Is El Clasico is the biggest I mean, game in the world. Benzema, Benzema might be out as well, so yeah, I think Madrid will rest. I think Madrid will rest Benzema. I will make sure they rest him for the Champions League against Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were pretty broad of the Champions in the Liga, so yeah, my there. brother will be there. That's for of sure. Course. He's always Thank here. you, my man. I appreciate the love and support. And people, if you haven't smashed the like on this stream, please make sure you do it on your way out. And as well, if you haven't subscribed, do it. God bless you all. Thank you. Have the rest of a lovely Sunday. Muchas gracias. And remember always, vamos. Vamos, vamos. Vamos on the way to 2,000 subscribers. That will be tonight. 2,000 subscribers after 10 months, right? I hope this sad person in here gets even more jealous that he will. That would hurt him inside. He probably got a channel with uh, probably about one subscriber and that is himself subscribing to himself. And yeah. uh, look, he's what he is. Ciao, 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 adios. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. And I will see you very soon.